She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. The same curve. I always run over that fucking car. That respectable girl. He can get it on. He's got the dog. He's got the dog. He can get it on. He's got the dog. So, I took care of some things I can't talk about, so I'm going to just not talk about you know what at all. I'm not even going to his channel, and that's about it. I'm gonna just keep trying that. Fuck. Because if I go there, if I watch him, I will be triggered, I know it, so I won't do that. All contact has to cease for me. Like, I cannot look at him, I cannot talk to him, anything. So, period, goodbye, and I don't want people to talk about him in the chat. Thank you. I'm not gonna talk about what I did today. I was advised not to. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be blocking their names. Don't worry. I think officially I'm a cougar. I'm a cougar. And he's so into me. Like he's, he's only been in Canada for like seven months, <laughs> but he's so hot. He's so hot and I'm a cougar and I will friggin'. He works hard. I mean, he's at work every day trying to go to school or something. I don't know. I pray on, give me a break. Whatever. They're true stories. I'm not preying on anybody. They don't have to. Physically, super manly. Like, like a friggin' 40-year-old man. Like, body. He's like six feet something. Buff. Like, he goes to the gym. And I am starting to work on my fitness journey. I need to focus on something not self-destructive because pretty soon, if I keep drinking alcohol and everything, like, I don't want to die. And I'm, like, at that age where I've had enough health problems right now. Um, that raging robber guy died at 32. Like, I can go at any day. And I don't want to. Anyways, look at all this fucking mess I gotta deal with and I don't feel like it because I'm depressed. Alright, are you guys gonna watch me while I do the dishes? We're gonna do- I'm gonna do exercise ball after. And work out. And get super in shape. And that six pack you never thought I could have, it's gonna happen. Road to six pack, daily. Fupa. Oh, Lynn. Please violently shake the camera. It's stimulate me and help me make a big creamy mess all for you, mama. Ready, set, radius? No, I'm immune. I'm immune to hep B because in school, I was test- I was given uh, immunity for A and B. And I was tested for hep C and I don't have it. I'm gonna finish. I will eat your lips. Oh my goodness! I don't know, he just messaged me, I will eat your lips. By the way, guess what? I'm just gonna say, thick rolling pin. This, this wig has semen retention. <laughs> Body weight is 340.4 pounds. Body weight is 340.4 pounds. 40.4, okay. Oh, shit, canoodle. <laughs> well, that'll do it. Hi. Tell people we're having baked lemon butter tilapia and rice pilaf. Hi, everybody. Hi, you piece of shit. See, I'm doing more than usual this time. I'm actually, I'm asking to help. That's what I'm doing. I'm asking to be able to help. To be allowed to help. Have I been watching any live streams? Absolutely not. That's the happy face. I was watching Kay's cooking. My god, her food looks disgusting. Ew, there was stuff like wet on my band-aid. I cannot wait. <laughs> Tomorrow this man is gonna be mine. Poor unfortunate soul. Oh, I can't stop thinking about- I guess he's thinking about me. He's so cute! <laughs> I'm gonna rock his world. I'm gonna rock his small ass world. Go, bitch! All my limbs are like the same height. <laughs> Mouth. Mouth. Vagine. No, I'm just kidding! I don't like that. Because I have to hold my fupa out of the way. Oh yeah, you were in there. You. Goodbye. Yeah, I blocked Alyssa. I don't want to be mean, but like, I have to. I don't want my world at all in any way, especially online. Well, especially in real life, but online too. Like, intermingling. Like, the no contact has to be like, no intermingling of like, 
like anybody. So if you're a Beezer, you need to be a supporter from now on, or else I don't need you here. I cannot, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, why would I have a bunch of my supporters, Beezers, who I live stream with you guys for hours a day to go and hang out with somebody who's my fucking literal enemies? Oh, oh. You don't need to warn me, a certain reaction channel, that things are gonna go bad, because they're not, because I'm not gonna let them get that way. I can take control of my life anytime I need to, and I have done that. No, no. You don't just watch, you go and participate, and then talk about him here. Like, I, I don't want anybody talking about him here. I don't want anyone, I don't want anyone except for supporters as my beezers. Someone was like, I used to support you until you doxed, uh, doo doo. Like, excuse me? No, no, no. She doxed herself by putting her, like, it's so easy for people to just, people found out who she was the, the day she was there at his house. And Berlin says she watches me as background noise, yay! And then I heard one reaction channel like, Ew, she's gross. No, a few of the people said that. They're like, ew, you're so gross saying about robbing the cradle. <laughs> oh, give me a fucking break. Friggin' moron. Ew, she's such a predator. Oh well, I guess I am then. I'm coming for your sons, you better hide them if they're over 22. 22 is an adult, okay? Give me a break. Let's get the licking lady's tattoos covered up! And I'm talking to this guy who's actually in Egypt. But I, I, I get- okay, I don't know, since I started a new Facebook account, every time I do, I have to like watch for spam people from like the Middle East adding me on Facebook and then they call me incessantly and send me sexual I answer and this guy shoved his wiener right in my face it was like humongous I'm like what the hell and me when I see something like that I can't hide my surprise I'm like <laughs> look if you if you're small a small team will work but I'm not small so lose your fucking lord hey you're ca caught on camera you're the culprit oh Jesus <laughs> this guy <laughs> Is so hot and so nice, and he speaks a bit of English. You know what else is really hot and like sort of a fantasy? Going to the rainforest and having a hot man with a machete cut down fresh, juicy fruit. And then you make love, eating the fruit together. I don't want to have anything to do with their channel anymore. So like, even the residual people like who I know hang out there, I don't want people risking coming in here and like talking about them or you know what I mean. No, I do sometimes, but that's like. <clears throat> just straggler getting out of my system and then I always get myself baited into more drama like my community posts take care of my liver I know look at it oh my god my saggy boobs am I nervous because he's so young oh no I don't know if he stands me up well on to the next um so I mean it just made me feel old and maybe i'm just not at that level anymore he is sort of yeah i kind of preferred the sex with tony yeah 22 is not a kid but whenever you're close to 40 you know it feels it it does i think a mature relationship would not be appropriate for this guy at 22 so i would be his friend i would be maybe a lover here and there but i don't think that i would be in a relationship with someone who probably doesn't even really i don't know it's not fair to say he doesn't know how but um do i think i will see him again honestly <laughs> he did message me by the way um right before i went to get the wings i forgot to say said he had a good night and we will see you again good night but no xo anymore like there used to be a lot of xos and now there's no xos he's really cute he, he was messaging the translator he wrote you made me forget what i was gonna say <laughs> we have to translate literally every sentence so we would take turns and I had to go to the gas station and get a three pack. I was like, what size? I'm like, large? <laughs> oh, extra large. This is man muscles. Show me yours. Yeah, mostly, mostly dead doggy. Some starfishy. I talked about it on my, you know where. <laughs> Whew. Oh, anyway. I just kept saying, you're so hot. You're so hot. You're so hot. And he was like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're just too out of shape to be a cougar. I said that. I'm like, I'll get in better shape. I had to use my Google Translate app to say, I will get in better shape for next time. I just don't know what to I had to bring him home because I'm in so much pain. It's just not doable. It's just not. It's, it's, 
TMI, but it's just too big. Too, too fucking big. Like, I can't even get it in my mouth. I'm in pain and I just want to, like, die. Yes! Jackhammer! Fuck. TMI for Pete's but That's all I'm gonna say. Oh my god. Uh, he got a hernia from lifting the fupa. Oh, goodbye, three-day-old fucking stupid loser. Bye. Ah, here, I'll show you my room. But it's not perfect yet, but I did it in haste. So here we have... This I just took out to find my head wrap, but it was all put together. There's another condom wrapper on the ground. A couple here. And... My bed looked like it had a tumble in the hay. Oh god. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Okay, so this... <laughs> so... <laughs> so look, I found a good thing for my vanity mirror, like putting all my perfumes on it. Okay. It was used, but there was nothing in it. That was the broken one. A nice, loving, hot husband comes up the stairs, brings me a cold lemonade, makes out with me for like two minutes straight. I love you. Finish your work, and I will pleasure you so good after work. Why can't I find a man like this? Wake up! There's no point of the date if you didn't go. I had a good time, so... I did... I guess vaginally, but clitorally, no. Because I can't... When I'm in my head, I can't. Like, I was too worried about Pete, so I was too worried about... I don't know, just everything. Like, what's he thinking? I just... You know, it's like the first time jitters. So I usually don't the first, it takes me, I have to be comfortable and relaxed and, and, and just paid attention to for a long time. I like the variety. Honestly, it's nice sometimes just to have that younger hunk. Like for me, honestly, the best, the best part of the night was like him entering my room, already being solid, if you catch my drift, naked and just gorgeous, like model gorgeous. Like I was like, I can't believe your body. He's like, what? He's like, no. I'm like, you don't work out. Like, he looks like he works out, and he doesn't. I don't get it. Do they put something in the milk in Turkey? I don't know. Do you think he'll kind of start obsessing? Honestly, no. I fucking hate every effing person on this goddamn platform. Okay? Amberlynn, you're a fake fucking loser. Don't ever talk to me again. Ever. Zion. What the fuck are you doing in the middle of the night? Sucking up, you're supposed to be my friend, you dumb freaking loser. You're sucking up to a piece of shit abuser. Are you for real? And his fucking new supply. Good luck. And whoever says she's prettier than me, look at the fucking thumbnail. It was like Chris kissing my fucking grandma. And you, Squidward, you have the nerve. You have the nerve to talk about my fucking fupa and how I, it means I don't take care of my body. You don't take care of your body, you fucking ropey ass scrawny junkie. Lay off the fucking speed, okay? And you, doo doo, don't make fun of my fupa because yours was gray and sweaty and stunk. Next, who's next? Yes, I'm raging, and you're all gonna fucking get it. I'm glad sometimes I check in on these fucking losers because you know what? I see who's real and who's not. I the worst thing I ever did in my fucking life was give this loser a platform. You slept with me for a year, you moron, but my body's gross now. Look at yours and who you're sleeping with right now. Give me a break. You're disgusting. You smell like tobacco. You have a green penis. You gave me gonorrhea. You're disgusting. And I hope you go to jail because that's where you fucking belong. Yeah, so Amber Lynn pops into his friggin' chat and is like, I'm so sorry. She's the fakest loser on YouTube and I can completely see what people see now. Like, it's so pathetic. She's obviously desperate for fucking, I don't know what her problem is. Everyone is insane. I hate everyone on this platform. I'm not even kidding. No, Amber Lynn is not two-faced. She's fake. I can see, honestly, I don't even know how people, I don't even know how people watch you. To be honest, you're so boring. Go fucking color another fucking book and buy another goddamn journal. You idiot. Yes, it was her. I texted her and gave her shit. She's like, I saw my psychiatrist and I've been having problems and they told me I should apologize to Natter. Oh, I'm sure they did. She's a fuck. She is a pathological liar. I see it now. She's apologizing to a piece of shit. She will never see in her life. <laughs> right? How fucking stupid can you be? I find you indeedy entertaining. Really? Just like a hundred other people? That's why Becky dumped Amber as a friend too. She was talking shit about Becky. She's one of those pathological weirdos. I don't know. I can't be pee. I mean, I don't talk to her like on a really regular basis. Like, but no, that would be like me going and like sucking up to Becky or something. You know, like, fuck you, man. Jesus. No, I'm done. I don't, I don't fuck with people like that. When you show me who you really are, I believe you when I really see it. And then she has the nerve to text me and be like, can I choose my own mental health? My, my therapist said that it's not something I would normally do, so I should apologize. 
Okay, and good thing you say that you find them entertaining. So, you find my abuser entertaining. Really? She's talking to her therapist about Natter more than you ever did. <laughs> Roman's watching. Can I come on swimming or pool? I bet Becky would go in on that fupa. No, I think Destiny would be more freaky than Becky if, if you look at the two of them. I'm just not into chubby looking schoolboys. I'm just joking. <laughs> they seem very nice. I'm just not, no, it's not my thing, okay? Peter Beauty, you dragging Amberlynn is honestly all I've ever wanted. Friendship is. <clears throat> Roman, I can't answer a call while I'm on stream because it will cut off the stream. I guess me blocking her and not forgiving her or not talking to her anymore will have her go in a conniption because she can't apologize. I don't know. But you're gonna have to deal with it because I don't want to be a friend anymore, so. Like, why would she even mess with a channel like his that's that small? I guess just because it's he's involved. Ricky, ALR, up, went in his chat at 4 in the morning, claiming her she's having so much anxiety about calling him a narc months ago that her therapist told her to go into his chat at 4 in the morning and apologize to Natter, saying that her fans also call her a narc and that uh, she finds he and Dee Dee entertaining with a smiley face and think that that's just going to go over just fine with me. The fuck? Who's she supposed to be friends with? Not him. Listen, bitch. Listen, bitch. Dee looks like the mother of destiny, she does. What she did was wrong if you two were friends. Yep. Well, she she messaged me and then apologized, but then was like, why can't I choose my mental health? Like, you can, but not around me. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> 